Hi and welcome to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This tutorial covers the details on how to invite child tenancies to your account via the OCI console. To know more about organization management, please go through the documentation links mentioned in the video description. The organization management involves two terminologies which is parent tenancy and child tenancy. Subscription sharing within child tenancies allows you to either create a child tenancy or invite an existing tenancy as a child tenancy. To learn more about the process of creating a child tenancy, please watch the video link available in the video description. Let's start with a brief explanation on invited child tenancy. Child tenancies are tenancies that join an organization whereby the parent manages the child's cost and governance. Child tenancies can either be created as an entirely new tenancies or existing tenancies can be invited to join the same organization. This allows you to use UCM credits or discount benefits across multiple accounts while maintaining a unified billing system within the parent tenancy. In this video, we will show how to invite an existing tenancy as a child tenancy. For example, let's assume that you have an annual subscription account with a pool of credits and you have another tenancy using a paid subscription which is nothing but a pay-as-you-go subscription. In the pay-as-you-go subscription, there is no commitment and the charges can be calculated based on the currency rate card. To receive a discount and use the benefits of a parent account, you can take advantage by utilizing the feature to invite an existing tenancy as a child tenancy. If both accounts have different rate cards, you will be billed based on the parent account's rate card and the subscription will be managed by the parent tenancy. For example, if your parent tenancy is billed in USD and your invited child tenancy will also be billed in USD. Ensure that the following criteria are met before you invite a child tenancy. In order to create a child tenancy, you should have limits. The child tenancy's home region must match the active region of the parent tenancy. To invite a child tenancy, the request must come from the parent tenancy's home region. The child tenancy request will succeed only when the home region of the invited child tenancy is subscribed as an active region in parent tenancy. Invited tenancy must be using a paid subscription or a universal credit or a pay-as-you-go or commit or funded allocation. The invited tenancy can't be a free tire tenancy. The user must check the admin privileges in both parent and child tenancies before performing this task. Sign in to the parent tenancy, navigate to governance and administration, under organization management click tenancies. Click invite tenancy, add details, enter invitation name of the invite that will be visible to the recipient. Enter the recipient's tenancy OCID, that is the child tenancy OCID. Enter and confirm the recipient's email address. Click next. You can skip governance rule and attach them later. Click invite tenancy. Once the above steps are done, an invitation is sent from the parent tenancy to the recipient tenancy. To accept the request of the child tenancy, please follow the below steps. Sign into the recipient tenancy, go to governance and administration, under organization management click invitations. The invitation from the tenancy that sent the invite is displayed on the invitations page list as pending status. Click on the actions menu and select accept invitation. After clicking accept, the invitation is processed and wait for a few seconds and refresh. This page status changes to accepted. Please note that the admin should accept the invitation within 30 days. After a tenancy becomes a child tenancy in the organization, it cannot invite another tenancy to become its child tenancy. You can also view the invitation details from both the parent tenancy and child tenancy by following the below steps. Go to governance and administration under organization management click invitations. From the invitation name field click on the invitation name or you can also click on the actions menu and then select the view invitation details. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you for watching.